love, 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 love whenever Drew Carney is at the Oregon Zoo. And this morning, he's introducing us to the newest resident. Yeah, and it's a pretty cute resident, <laughs> as, you, as you'd see it. Drew is live with Lincoln. There's Lincoln, the sea otter pup. Yes, this is not get old. This is not a picture that we get tired of this morning. Lincoln is one of the newest residents here at the Oregon Zoo. We talked about a half hour ago what he's enjoying this morning. What's keeping him content, as Nicole and I talk about Lincoln, is those shrimpsicles. Basically, uh, shrimp wrapped in ice. Nicole Nicasio Hiskey is a marine life keeper here at the Oregon Zoo. So real quickly, to bring our viewers up to speed, if they're just tuning in this morning, uh, Lincoln was brought here to the Oregon Zoo last month. That was after he was abandoned and found when he was about eight days old mm -hmm. in California. And we actually have some video that we can show while we look at Lincoln live. We have video from his arrival here last Last month. How much growth have you seen in this sea otter since his first days here at the zoo a month ago? Well, when he first arrived here, the, the viewers will see he was kind of in a smaller nursery. So we were, he was on a bottle, so we were bottle feeding him. Um, and we were offering him solid seafood pieces, but they were much smaller, kind of the size of your fingernail. Um, and then we were having to actually groom him to keep him warm, to keep his thermal regulation okay. Um, and then over the weeks, we had to do less grooming. We were offering him larger pieces of food, and now he's eating whole fish and larger chunks of, of crab and clam. Um, and we're not having, we're not worried about his thermal regulation anymore. Can we go back to why it's necessary for you, for humans to step in and be his caretaker at this young age? Because I know ideally you would want that to be taken care of by mm -hmm. an adult sea otter. Yeah, great question. So sea otter pups, when they're born, they are completely dependent on their moms for survival. So the mom feeds them, nurses them, and grooms them completely. And they're very buoyant. Their, their fur is so buoyant that they can't actually even dive to hunt for themselves. So they learn all of that from their mom, even how to groom themselves. So if their mom is taken away from a predator, then a human has to come in or they, they will not survive. Uh, sea otters no longer exist here in Oregon. They did, but they became extinct in this state uh, more than 100 years ago. We still have them in California. They're still in Washington. Why don't we have them exactly in Oregon and, and might there ever be a day when they do return to the state? We do hope they return. It's going to be a slow process. They've been gone, like you mentioned, over 100 years. The reason is they were hunted to extinction. Um, the last one was killed in 1907, and so you can see it's been a long time. And they are a keystone species, which means that they're the glue that holds everything together in the marine ecosystem. Sea otters eat a lot of sea urchins, and sea urchins eat kelp. So when you remove the sea otter from the picture, there there's a huge population explosion of sea urchin, which they just take out the bull kelp for us. So without those bull kelp for us, um, we probably won't see sea otters return anytime soon. People, our viewers, want to know when can they see Lincoln? This has been a great opportunity mm -hmm. to see the pup up close, but when do we think he may be on exhibit with the other two sea otters here, Eddie and Juno? Mm -hmm. So, great question. I don't know if we'll ever put him with Eddie. We haven't made that determine yet, determination yet. He has had a couple days and a couple hours with Juno, and he's still small and he's still learning what it means to be a sea otter. So, I would predict maybe in the next couple months he might be on exhibit. Okay, hey Juno, if you can hear me, play <laughs> nicely with Lincoln because everyone would like to see Lincoln out there on exhibit uh, with the other sea otters. It's been a great morning. Thank you, Nicole, yeah, thank for you. the access to Lincoln. Brenda, Christine, Chris McGinnis, one more look at the sea otter pup as we say back to you. Aww. And if it doesn't work out with the otters, we'll take him as our KGW Sunrise mascot. Yeah, I love him. Not. Great plan. So I like that idea. Cute. Thank Aww. you, Drew.